Ever since Shatawali actually made the police to arrest this particular blogger called Vimbas for using his platform or medium as a way to peddle lies about his brand by interviewing some certain guys who label themselves as mafias, Nima mafias, let's say, claiming to be doing some awful things for Shatawali, which Shatawali hasn't returned same favor. Ever since the arrest of this particular blogger called Vimbas, he's trying to tread cautiously on this space and I think he's been on a low, very quiet and he has ignored this whole buzz around. This mafia is actually gaining some grounds and I think he has actually learned his lessons but this mafia or this mafia called Currency is at it again and this time around, Chris Wado actually came in to warn his disciple let's see let's see what currency actually posted that triggered chris Wado's response let's see and this so-called mafia called currency actually posted on his timeline and he had the infantry to tag shatawali along and he wrote charles nia mamensa nima dance King, please we are in the month of ramadan we would like to know the whereabouts of shatakumoji Please, SM fans, help me ask Shatawali. Uh, Ken, this question with a hashtag everybody, hashtag Vimbas, hashtag citizen check, and other unnecessary write ups. And this particular post didn't go down well with Chris Wado. So he actually came and commented on this post. Chris Wado actually said, Ah, by you two, which nonsense this? When we call you to, you know the pick. If matters get out of hand, don't call anybody. And a couple of guys actually commented on Chris Wado's comments. And this currency guy actually came with a response. He tagged Chris Wado. I'm sorry, see you. I will pass home surely in the evening. It will, it will never happen again. Trust me. Indirectly, this guy is actually trying to beg his CEO. Because Nibano Odinenia Tonosonokra is trying to send a signal to him and this calls for immediate attention and indirectly this mafia is actually tamed now let's see that outcome come later